And to make it possible for Harris to become vice president-elect, countless doors were opened by other remarkable women in American history. Today, News 18 spoke with local historians on what it means to witness the first female take the position of vice president. While Kamala Harris is the first black woman to win the office of vice president, she's not the first black woman to run for such a high office. Shirley Chisholm ran for president in 1972. Who was the one who stood there and told black people to be dignified. And he, even as they insult us, even as they scream at us, even as they lie on our names, be dignified. Journalist and early civil rights leader Ida B. Wells also opened doors for Harris. Kamala Harris comes from a line that stretches back to Sojourner Truth, to Harriet Tubman, to Ida B. Wells. Women have been striving to make their voices heard since this nation's very beginnings. Even think of Abigail Adams saying, remember the ladies that, that women have always wanted and, and desired and deserved representation. And in 2020, it is especially poignant to have a woman as vice president when exactly 100 years ago, they gained the right to vote. The 100 years after women get their right to suffrage, we have a female vice president elect. What took us so long? This connection to the past can be seen in the suit Harris wore Saturday night. That white suit is representative of those first women who were fighting for the right to vote. And this connection to history is not lost on young women today. Having a first female vice president, it's just a big step for women, honestly, a big step for the country in general. But as women were granted the right to vote in 1920, it was not possible for all women for much longer. Black women just really got the vote all across this country in 1965. That's by law. After 200 years of white men holding the two highest offices, Americans are saying they are ready for change. It's been a lot of baby steps from 1865. <laughs> a, a lot of people think this whole, this whole history was an inevitability. It's not an inevitability, it's a choice. And Harris did take the time during Saturday night's speech to look toward the girls in the audience, saying possibility is endless here in the United States.